I wish I'd known that uh, Mr. Rice been on my podcast before. I wish I'd have known he had uh, online dating or tried it. He's put on that. He's doing it like every day, sometimes twice a week or whatever. I invited him on the show, so I did not even know that he's been on before. So, okay, well, I keep that in mind. But just to go back to you, Ms. Jones, when you were saying to verify that that person has an address, so you're going to tell him, hey, I'm going to just come over to your place, is what you're saying? After I've known him for a while, I mean, you just don't want to go up there two or three days and get tied up somewhere and never see it again. But, um, you know, I mean, but that's your business. Okay. <laughs> you know that's your business. So you stay out of my business. Hmm. Now, <laughs> as, as Uncle Tabitha could say, and that's your business. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> no, I mean, of course, I would go to his house after I ran a background check on him or something like that. What? So, yes. I mean, I you, know, women, I mean, you have to. And you need to be running on background checks on women too, sir. Yeah, you, you sure like, do. You in the mental institution, it so goes both ways. It, it goes both ways. I'm just not saying it's just for um, women to do it for men. Men need to do it for women too because she may be like Kat Lee and say, a banana cream pie.